Welcome to another episode of Fire Starters. Today I'm with the theme queen, Lexi. She is the outspoken, she is the know it all of everything <laughs> theme camps. So let's hear from Lexi. <laughs> Hello, hi. Uh, I'm Lexi. I am the theme camp lead at Africa Burn. I've been doing it, this will be my second burn as theme camp lead. Uh, basically, what we do is everybody who wants to have a theme camp, we can talk about what a theme camp is. But everyone who wants to needs to register it, and uh, then they tell us what they're going to do, and we say, "Yo, that sounds cool. Come, come through." And we tell them where they're going to be and how they can get their water and their ice and get themselves in the guide. But yeah, that's the main thing. That's what we're doing. Awesome. That's what she does. Please tell us, Lizzie, what is the theme camp? Okay, perfect. I mean, so if you've been to the burn, you've seen there's lots of camps around, and uh, the theme camps are the ones who come together, and obviously you need a theme, that's it. Yes. The clue is in the name. Which is, for example, creation. But in your camp, your theme can be, you know, you are just a big fan of cows, so everything can have cow print and you're going to give out milk. Or your theme can be that you want to have a space-themed bar, or whatever. I don't, whatever you want. What, I always say that every theme camp... Like no two feet camps will ever be the same because the inside of my brain and the inside of your brain are not the same. So it's a place where you work. A team camp is a workplace. It's people coming together, sometimes 10 people, sometimes 50 people, sometimes 200 people. They put their money together and they build something cool for us to enjoy. And so like for me, team camps are super important and it's really important that they are supported because like these guys, these guys have been building this stuff since... They started in September. They've been working as hard as we have. These guys are giving up their weekends, their money, and this is their hobby, and they make the cool stuff. And I think theme camps are really where the magic happens a lot of the time when you're at the burn, you know? <laughs> you know when you're walking in and you meet a stranger and you start having that weird conversation? That's where that happens. Yeah. So, yeah, there's spaces where people work and, and, and make magic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come about cool. being on, at Africa Burn, sure. camp. So my first burn was in 2013. I went to Burning Man in the US Ooh, because my, my best friend lives in London and he said to me, you got to come to this thing. Mm -hmm. So I was like, whatever you say. And so I put myself into many, many years of credit card debt and made poor financial choices and I went to Burning Man <laughs> and it took me about 10 years to pay it all off, but that's a different story. <laughs> it was magical. I had the best time. And I didn't even at that point know that there was an Africa burn, to be honest. I was separate from it. But everyone I met and I at there and I said I was South African, they'd say, oh, well, have you been to Africa burn? And so then I came back and uh, yeah, we, that same crew had the theme camp at Africa burn and it was 2015. I couldn't go in 2014 because I was still broke from going to Burning Man. Man. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, that was my first uh, Africa burn was 2015. We had the Flame and Merkin, which was, we made um, uh, margaritas. And, you know, we did like freshly squeezed lime on the Minnacring. So it was really awesome. A wonderful way to be introduced to that. Uh, since then, I started doing the burner bars in Joburg after that event because I wanted to make friends. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I had a few theme camps over the years. And I also, a couple of years later, started volunteering on the social media. So I was uh, helping out on the Facebook groups, uh, which was quite uh, quite exciting. And I think we, you know, our, our Facebook groups are a place where our community gathers, and it's important to make sure that it's safe and that it's it stays. And you know, we had lots of challenges to it, but I think it's a it's a really great place to share information. Some people might think that the admins are too strict, but. You know, we are looking for new ones, so please sign up. <laughs> Let me know. Uh, yeah, so having theme camps and working in on the Facebook group for many years when this position became available, it was just perfect timing. Mm. And I applied for it and I interviewed and yeah, I was selected and here we are. History heaven. Yeah. We are so happy to have Lexi. Yeah. Can be honest. Thank you. Would you maybe mention? Well, so it's been it's been a great handover because obviously Sonica did it for many years and she's been a wonderful mentor and uh, there's so much knowledge amongst everybody that we work with. Um, Passing, you know, you, you're never on your own. You never have to figure it out by yourself. Look, the challenge is, is that it's a lot of data, it's a lot of admin, it's a lot of spreadsheets and lists. 
um, and a lot of deadlines and, and needing to get the right information from the right people at the right time. It can be a challenge, but um, it's the job. You know what I mean? It's what we do. And somebody has to do it. I often think that it's, it's actually a, a, a privilege. It's an honor because I don't think of us as being gatekeeping of what's art and what's creative and what you can bring or I need to approve it. I know that I need you to be a theme camp and the theme camp is XYZ. And as long as you are ABC XYZ, I am happy and you come do your own thing. I am a civil servant is how I think of it. No, honestly, we serve the, the art we, and, and art also includes theme camps and meeting vehicles. I, yeah, so that's what we do and yeah, it's fun. It is fun. Hmm. <laughs> Any hot tips maybe that you also can share? I always say that Africa Burn is supposed to be fun. And if you're not having fun, stop, take a step back, and it's okay. Like, you, this is not a, I mean, it's a job, but it's also fun. <laughs> like, it's my job, but it's not your job. I say to you, you know, we're supposed to enjoy ourselves. It's okay to have fun, and it's okay to take care of yourself and enjoy yourself. It's, it's fun. We're going there because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true, but take care of yourself. Yeah. Because once you're taking care of it, you can It's so easy to get bogged down in it and to think that we're the only ones there. But, you know, the principles talk about communal effort. And uh, lean on your friends, lean on your campmates. Uh, that's what they're there for. And if you're struggling, there's also support in the form of sanctuary and in the form of rangers. And, and all sorts of people are there. And also just random people who want to be your friends. So, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't put pressure on yourself. Have fun and work hard. You don't have volunteers, right? We ah, do. We okay. actually do. We actually have a great team of um, what we call our theme camp committee. And so these are people who've run theme camps over the years and they volunteer their time. And they work super hard. They've been working. They started um, volunteering. We, we meet every week and they've been doing that since September last year. And they're the ones who are going to chat to the theme camps, who are going to answer the questions. Sometimes a theme camp is the first time. They don't know how to do X, Y, Z. These are guys who have been really, you know, building these camps since the beginning, longer than I have. And so they're a great source of knowledge and they, they share their time so generously because that is a pure volunteer um, role. And yeah, obviously I can't speak to 150 camps. I don't have the capacity to answer those questions, although I do try. <laughs> but yeah, they, that, so that's my main team of volunteers. And then of course, at the event, we're going to be trying something new this year. We're gonna have a theme camps info desk at the, inside arteria so awesome. questions and you know concerns about placement and all those things yeah. you can come to that desk and uh, those volunteers they will be able to point you in the right direction or find the right person for you to ask <laughs> or whatever it is so yes we also have those volunteers um and i also think of all of the theme camp creative crews as volunteers because while they maybe aren't necessarily doing the toilet mm -hmm. shifts you know, they're going in every day, they've got their shifts, they're running yes. their bars, they're serving you food, serving you drinks. You know, they've spent months putting music and theater shows and performances and the decor. That's, that's their own time and money. You know, no one's paying them for that. But what makes the burn special and different is when you feel like you're a part of it, is when you're in it and you're working and anyone can volunteer. If it's your first burn, you've come in the gates and you've been welcomed by the greeters. They, from that point, you are in a position to welcome new people. You are now a burner and you are now showing people how to. And uh, welcoming someone into your space gives you a sense of ownership. And that's what makes the burn really special. You know, I've been to, I went to festivals this, this summer and I had a great time. I loved it. And I went there and I was like shocked though, because I haven't been to festivals in years before that. You know, COVID and I'm getting old. <laughs> um, I was shocked that it, it was participants and workers and I, you know and everything was branded and everything and it was beautiful it was fun and they did a great job and I'm not criticizing other festivals but what makes us special is that the volunteers and the workers are the people there's no spectators we're all the same thing you're going to find the volunteers working today and then tasting the pancakes in your theme camp tomorrow it's the same we're all the same people and it's a really special way to feel like ownership and to feel like it's it's your burn and it is everybody's burn all of us. Ah. We're just here to serve them. I love it, Lexi. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I wish I could have more chats with her. You can. You always do. 
Eh, so please, <laughs> yeah. when you, if you're feeling like me and you want to ha- chat up Lexi, find out more about theme camps, how you can get involved in the future, including at the main event. Be mm. her shout out, give her some Most of, half, of, half of you have my number anyway. To <laughs> WhatsApp me or whatever, email me. I don't care. I'm contactable. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lexi. Lovely, thank, thank you. you for listening. Thank you, Lexi. Lepo. And thank you for doing this. This is really cool. I think this is a really great way for people to get involved and feel part of the org. It can feel like something like on the mountain far away that we don't know <laughs> who's running it, but it's all the same. Now you see we all started as burners yes. and uh, found ways to contribute more and more and more every year. Yeah, yeah. Yay. See you in the back. <laughs>